get to know how to configure Quint Power and Caprock in PLC Next Engineer. Connect Quint Power with Caprock. The power connection up to 16 square millimeters with a maximum possible current of 45 amps must be connected first. The two wire system bus connection gives all information out of the power supply to the Caprock system. Due to the markings on the product, also this connection is very easy to configure. Download of the software package. To implement the system in Profinet, we need a GSDML file. This file can be found on our website in the download section of Caprock. Just choose the file version that perfectly fits to your firmware. Configuration Before we build up our Profinet topology in the PLC Next Engineer software, we must implement the downloaded GSDML file into the program. Now we can choose the different modules out of the components catalog on the right side. The configuration in the system tree works easily via drag and drop. We start with the Caprock power module followed by the circuit breaker modules and the Quint power supply. The maximum system size is 16 circuit breaker modules in combination with one power supply. The Quint power module will be automatically added at the end of the Caprock tree. The Caprock system gives out its information in an array of bytes. To get all information in one variable, we will set up an array in the data types section. Now we can create our two variables. One for the Caprock system itself and the other for the Quint Power status register. Both can be set up in the data list of the project. After creating the variables, we also must connect them to the different outputs of the module. Here, for example, one variable for circuit breaker module number one and for the power supply. Besides the output option, there are also startup parameters that can be configured in the project. For example, we can configure the output voltage of the power supply. These parameters every time will be set up after the startup of the programmable logic controller. You will find these parameters also in the Caprock system for every module. For example, here the nominal current. To write our project on the PLC, we need to configure the IP address configuration. 
for the PLC itself and the Caprock system first. After writing the project on the programmable logic controller, we can pull the variables we configured before in the watch window. Here now we can see that both channels of the two-channel module are switched on and that there is also load connected. At the quint power variable we can see that there isn't a specific point and phase failure. Of course there will be more information than this you can read out and set in the system. You'll find a detailed list of all configuration possibilities in the product user manuals.